uh, pretty much been uh, leading ourselves into a time of prayer by uh, doing a study in the book of Daniel. And we've been in chapter one. Uh, we were presently in uh, verse 10 to 13. And we we'll titled our, our, our topic, we, we, we said the favored one, trying to talk about the man of God, the one who God favors, the child of God, the apple of his eye. You know, and we're trying to relate how do we lead this life, right? In John chapter 17, Jesus Christ was praying uh, in verse uh, 15 to 18. And he was saying that, hey, Father, don't take them out of this world. Well, we're not saved to be taken out of the world, right? That's not the intent of salvation. That's not the intent of coming to Christ, right? And we have arrived a lot of people walk wrongly. You know, in faith, there are people that just work out of their emotions. They feel like it, right? There are two things, there's faith and there's presumption. A lot of people do presumption because they are all emotional. Oh, it feels right. You know, they're more like uh, Peter was feeling when Jesus Christ said he was going to go to the cross. He doesn't oh, you cannot go to the cross, you know? And that's the way a lot of people lead their Christian life and they're walking wrongly. They're walking out of step with the Lord, right? Our journey with God has nothing to do with emotions. It has to do with his will, right? And his will is dictated for us in the Bible. That's where we find his will. We don't find his will for me. I got a prophecy. An angel told me. You know, all the foolish things that people talk about, right? It's not whether you feel like it or you don't feel like it. It's not whether you're buying, you have two private jets or not. It has no bearing on the will of God. The will of God is his word. Right, anything other than his word is not the will of God. The will of God is his word. That's what we base our life on. And Jesus Christ tells us so famously in Matthew chapter 7 that the last day, that's going to be the determining factor. People will come and say, I built the university in your name. Oh, I fought two private jets in your name. I woke up the dead. I prayed that this happened, that happened. So I don't know you. <laughs> you are one of these rascals moving all around. Because you have done all of those things that you think is important, but you have not done my will. Right? We see that also in Mary and Martha, right? Mary uh, chose to sit at the feet of Jesus, to listen to his word, to get his direction, to get his will. Matter was about all the, <laughs> Jesus, oh, Jesus, what oh, we do, what oh, we do, what oh, we do, you know? And, and, and it was, <laughs> he, he, she felt that Jesus should be moved by the same emotion she was moved by. And she came to Jesus and said, Jesus, why won't you let me, uh, tell me to come and help me now? Huh? Ah, well, is it not in your name we're doing it? We're trying to glorify your name now. We want to give you the best name. We want to give you the, make sure the right people come. All of that, all of that. <sighs> Jesus says, hey, me, Martha, Martha, you are worried about the million things, but only one thing really matters. It is the will of the Father. All right? It is you walking in the will of the Father. And for you to walk in the will of the Father, you must know the will of the Father. Do you know the will of the Father? You must be in a place where you can receive it. Right? Be in a place where you can receive it. Right? Because the faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Right? So if you don't hear the word, you cannot have faith for the word you don't have. Right? And that's what Mary chose. And Jesus Christ says, I can't take that away. This is the most important thing. Every other thing you're doing sits on this one thing. Right? The wheel of the Father. 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 I don't care what you build. I don't care your, the English you speak. is the wheel of the Father. Anything that you're doing that doesn't have the wheel of the Father as a foundation will crumble. And that's what Jesus Christ told us. He gave us an example of two people, one building on sand, one building on the rock, right? The storms will come to, to, to try your foundation out, right? You know, so the storms will come. And if the storms don't come <laughs> on the final day, we will know there'll be a dividing on the final day, right? To determine whether they are of God or not of God, right? It's not the fancy, it is what's your foundation? Is it the will of the Father? That's what's important.